What's up, what's up? Hello everybody, long time no see, long time no see. In the video today, we will then take a look at the uh, one, two, two, the uh, really big upgrade, the major upgrade from the one, two, one. And it's already create a massive wave on the Comfy UI community in the good meaning. And uh, today uh, I will walk you through the uh, two uh, version, two model, two variation of the one, two, two. Uh, one is the 5 billion uh, parameter model and the second is the 28 billion parameter so let's dive right in okay so uh, before we dive deep into the uh, first 5 billion model allow me to uh, introduce you the context of the uh, video that I am uh, you want to put to to uh, generate this video is the uh, automotive uh, production and uh, the product I am using in here is the AMG GTR from the Mercedes. The feeling, the results I want to achieve for this video creation is that I want to have a look of the beast uh, in the middle of the night, uh, the silver bullets flying through the silence of the night. And uh, in the contrast of that, uh, I want to put something like the uh, underground uh, feeling. So because of that, I always uh, create a video with the uh, image to video workflow. Uh, I want to craft in the first frame in the way that I think it should work, in the way that I think it uh, will give uh, the good feeling, good visual uh, result for the video. So here we are with the 5 billion image to video workflow. And the workflow that I'm using in here is the basic workflow that provided by the Comfy UI uh, developer uh, and making sure that you are updated to the uh, latest version of the uh, Comfy UI. Uh, then uh, you will then have this uh, template uh, inside the workflow template. And the first time you are open this workflow is to then prompting out what you are in missing. Uh, such as the uh, model, uh, such as the uh, may uh, they have uh, some uh, custom node that uh, you uh, don't have. And after that uh, messy CC, uh, we will then uh, have the workflow up and running. And um, the uh, 5 billion model is uh, quite light in, in my opinion, uh, because uh, during the uh, processing time, uh, it just took only uh, around the uh, 4, uh, 4 gig. And uh, it just uh, only go in heavily when uh, it run into the uh, VAE decode. And uh, in my case, uh, it uh, eating uh, almost the every single uh, byte of uh, my trail week uh, of VRAM. And this model, the uh, developer calls by the hybrid model for a reason. Uh, because with this workflow, with this model, you can uh, utilize it uh, as the text2v or the uh, image2v. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to use the text to be on the five billion model, uh, just simply control B or bypass the uh, load image node uh, in the workflow, uh, and then uh, it will then immediately uh, become the text to be. And if you want to use the I to V control B again on the load image node, and what you are quickly noting here is really similar with the uh, image to image uh, workflow that we are using with the flux. Uh, we see we uh, will then uh, load the image and convert it into the latent with the 1.2.2 image to video latent. And the only thing I do change in here is that I'm hook up the uh, size extension uh, to help me to speed up the uh, processing time. And the time is cutting for me is my hub. Uh, it's help, uh, helped me out uh, a lot for the uh, time consuming and also I try to utilize the uh, likes the uh, self foxing LoRa uh, but uh, I get a bunch of the uh, bad results also the uh, the warning uh, the mismatch on the architecture of the uh, model uh, so I didn't use it anymore uh, let waiting for the, uh, the, the the final version uh, that we were crafting just only for the uh, uh, one two by two. 
you will need the one two point two VAE to run this workflow. I try to hook up the one two point one V with this workflow, but it doesn't work. Uh, it's work for the fourteen B or the twenty uh, eight B uh, larger model, uh, but for this model, it uh, doesn't work with the uh, one two point one VAE. Uh, so keep it in mind for this workflow to work, uh, you will then need the one two point two VA. And about the speed, uh, it cost me uh, three minutes to four minutes to generate a three second length uh, as the sixteen FPS. And uh, the resolution I am using in here is almost the seven twenty p. For this type of the uh, video, I aim to uh, generate uh, at the three second length. Uh, because uh, with that, uh, it will then help me to build up the tension and build up the aggressive feeling. And uh, I also uh, chop it into the smaller parts for the post production later on. The quality generating out from this uh, model is not that great, but uh, it works really fast. And in some cases, especially for the um, uh, simple background, it's worked quite well and actually the shot I do like the most is come from this uh, model uh, and uh, it's bring out the really good vision, really good uh, visual that I uh, seeking for. Uh, you can see on the screen right now the uh, movement of the camera is really look nature. It's like uh, the uh, one man, one cameraman uh, behind the screen uh, holding a camera and uh, tracking, try, trying to track in the fast car movement on the screen. And uh, you can also see the tension, the aggressive of the beast uh, are moving along up the uh, inside the frame. So for this uh, 5 billion is uh, already showcase the uh, potential, showcase the upgrade from the is sister one to point one is understand from really well. It can uh, understand the cinematic composition it can understand the tension in the camera movement uh, for the particular shot and so forth so forth it's a lot of thing uh, for just a 5 million smallest one model and let's jump in into the bigger one the uh, big brother of uh, this one 2.1 version so here we are with the big brother 28 million separate into the two individual uh, model uh, high noise and the low noise and um, uh, for this one it is the first time uh, is introducing the high noise and low noise concept in here uh, and uh, basically uh, it works uh, similar when you are utilizing the ChatGPT to crafting prompt uh, before uh, when I don't have the ChatGPT uh, every single prompt I need to crafting is on my own uh, but uh, now when I have the ChatGPT, I can uh, guideline is the general idea, uh, pass to it uh, to finish the detail. And the high noise and the low noise in here is play uh, similar the same uh, with uh, what we are um, utilizing with the ChatGPT. The high noise will uh, aim to handling the general, the big part, you know, such as the composition. And the low noise is for the fine tune, the uh, smaller detail. Uh, and by combination of those two, uh, it will then uh, help uh, we uh, achieve the better results out from the uh, video creation. The workflow that I am using in here is the default workflow that I found in the uh, workflow templates. It's worked out of the box for me. And again, uh, the only thing I did change in here is that I passed the same extension into the workflow to help me speed up the process. And uh, this one is quite tricky to uh, installation, but uh, it's worth to try. Uh, it's uh, helped me cut out a lot of the time consuming just for waiting the uh, processing to finish. Because we have uh, two individual uh, model, the high noise and the low noise, so that uh, which mean uh, we will then have uh, the two load diffusion model. Uh, we will then practice with two size attention we will then part this with two sampling SD3 and we will then have a two case sampler event. And uh, be careful with the step uh, in here uh, is we will then equal uh, for the each case sampler RT20 and for the each model is we then need to run through the uh, 10 step. Uh, so the 20 is the total. It's not uh, for each case sampler. 
uh, I accidentally uh, changing it into the uh, then for the um, uh, first case sampler that uh, utilize with the high noise and it suddenly uh, uh, become the blurry uh, result and uh, at that time I didn't know uh, the reason why the result is become really really weird and blurry I spent uh, around an hour uh, seeking for the answer and at that when I'm uh, looking at uh, my workflow again I know the reason is that I'm crank it out to the 10 uh, but I forgot to crank it uh, up again to the 20 uh, when I didn't use the cell forcing LoRa and it's part through the uh, high noise it's just only working on the low noise that is the reason why I get the really blurry uh, result from the uh, video creation so be careful on the uh, step uh, making sure it's uh, equal to the 20 is uh, work out the work for you and the time consuming to run this uh, 28 billion uh, model on my uh, 4070 super is the around uh, 8 to 10 minutes uh, for the uh, 3 second length video uh, as the trail fps and the uh, 540p uh, and uh, the quality is really good uh, everything is uh, look more natural and uh, is more have a uh, in-depth uh, and rich visual uh, in comparison with the 5 billion model is a huge upgrade so uh, with the both model is uh, become the significant improvement for my uh, workflow uh, when i can uh, utilizing the 5 billion as the previous and when i'm happy with the result come from the 5 billion uh, everything work uh, okay then i bring that uh, prompt i bring that is my i bring that seat into the uh, final stage for the 28 billion and uh, that will then help me uh, cut out the time consuming uh, for running the uh, 28 billion on my computer so everyone that's this is for the video today see you in the next one ciao ciao